Hi, it's me, Candy, Refashionista Sherry's personal trainer. Yeah, you know, you know who I am. Anyway, she's still doing this 30 days of refashions, and look, my belt bag is still going strong even after like so many daily workouts with her. Now, she was at the thrift store and she found this totally awesome 80s sweat top. The only problem is, like, look here. It, you know, has like a Souvenir City kind of logo on it. And then when she got home, she noticed this is damaged. So today she's going to show you how to quickly and easily cover up, you know, an unwanted logo or letters or whatever. Plus, you know, kind of mend that area as well. So um, let's, let's go watch that. <laughs> For this quick and easy cover-up project, all you need is the item that needs a bit of covering up and a bunch of patches or fabric scraps. Now, you might be wondering, where the heck can I get patches? Well, here is my kind of patchy stash, and here is where I scored them all. Of course, you know, you can buy them in stores or online. And these ones usually come as uh, iron-on, which is fantastic. But one of my biggest tips for sourcing patches is, you know, when you're refashioning, sometimes you have some really awesome leftovers. I mean, like, look at that. All I have to do when I'm ready to use this one is carefully chop it out of the excess fabric here and then stitch it on. I mean, that's fantastic. Or the same with these, look at these little baby trousers from when <laughs> my kiddo was just a little one. And yeah, they were so adorable. I kind of chopped off the legs and kept them for, you know, using for a future project. I mean, patches, you can get them really anywhere. But again, one of the best things to do is if you have leftovers and they have some pretty embroidery on them, keep them and use that as a patch in the future. Other things, let me see, what else makes groovy patches? Oh, look, all of these kind of little crocheted bits here that I've kept. Um, let's see what's in here. Oh, look here, little, see, even these little tiny pieces from projects, I hold on to them to use them. Um, right, these are fantastic. I scored these at a charity shop in uh, Germany, in Berlin, and I mean, come on, how beautiful, a whole bag full of these gorgeous, kind of, I'm assuming, handmade little mini appliques. And of course, doilies make absolutely beautiful patches. And again, if you do not have kind of this stuff lying around your house like I do, I mean, like I said, I've been collecting for more than a few years, then you can easily find just bags and bags and bags of this stuff at uh, thrift and charity shops or even online. So now, even though I am Canadian, um, I really don't want to walk around with a shirt that has the capital city's name emblazoned across it. I don't care how cool and vintage it is. I just, I just don't want to do it. So <laughs> I have chosen uh, this patch. I think the colors go really nicely and it should be enough to cover that up. And on the back, that damaged area, I'm going to use this one finally that, uh, you know, I chopped out from one of my kiddos outgrown shorts and that fits perfectly there and then the small piece that I have left over from another project that I chopped this one up for is going to cover up there. So let's start with the front. All right so I have this arranged in a way that it's covering everything up and I know this is not going to move here. This is covering up the bulk of the lettering but you can see here I can't just pin this and stitch stitch this on here because this is going to be bulky and kind of hang awkwardly. So what I'm going to do is just carefully snip this off. Okay. And now I can arrange this <laughs> perfectly where I want it to be. And I'm just going to tuck that under there. Do like this, tuck this piece under there as well. And now I can go pin this in place. So that is all pinned in place, but as I was doing that, I noticed up here, 
is actually damaged as well on right on the collar so i think what i'm gonna do is chop off this bit here and use that up on the collar area to cover up this uh, bit of a snag in the collar so what I call my doodle stitching technique, I think a lot of other people just call freehand stitching, and that is simply when you go back and forth and up and down and all over the place on your patches or your fabric to hold it in place and kind of create these neat little designs all over it. And to me, it looks like doodles, so I call it doodle stitching. <laughs> Doesn't that look so much better now? Now it's time to flip it over and fix up the back. So I don't understand this. Um, like there's a very small single stitch up here and supposedly this is going to hold this fold nicely. No, it doesn't. It all flips out and then you have a weird single stitch thing up here. So I don't know, should I chop this or get rid of this stitch and then just have a bit of a wider sleeve or should I you know stitch this so it is just a nice cuff there but it stays in place I'm not sure let me know let me know down below what you think so I now have the back patches nicely placed over top of those kind of they weren't really holes more like it looks like it got caught on something and there was like runs in it like you know you'd have with your nylons or tights or pantyhose that kind of a thing um which is another very 80s situation i think <laughs> anyway I, as i was pinning these i got to thinking um about that self-adhesive stuff that uh, they i've seen in craft stores and stuff that you use to stick something on instead of using pins and then it washes out um so it's not like it doesn't stay there it washes it i'm wondering if you guys have ever used that and if it's worth the money because it is you know a little bit expensive please let me know what you used and if it's worth it <laughs> how a fab did this come out i mean that is so much nicer looking than a big logo or you know souvenir shirt <laughs> city name there and the back also came out perfectly I mean I'm definitely going to wear this loads now it is super comfortable but still I don't know what I should do with these sleeves you know just having this one stitch here silliness it just it comes it comes undone like that that looks ridiculous and it won't stay put with one stitch so it's either what do you think all the way down or stitching it all the way around those are the choices <laughs> let me know down below what you think and there is another fantastic tutorial coming at you tomorrow in my 30 days of refashions for my birthday month. So yeah, see you tomorrow. And uh, until then, <laughs> stay safe, stay well, and I'll catch ya on the zigzag. Oh, this is fantastic, fantastic. La -la. <laughs> this is Confessions of a Fashionista